Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Garry Kasparov and Tigran Petrosyan that was played in Bugoino in 1982. And where is Bugoino? Bugoino is a town in Bosnia. I remember when this tournament was played, I was a high school student at the time. Before this tournament, there was a tournament in Banja Luka. In 1979, Kasparov became my chess hero when he won that very strong tournament at age of 16. Let's have a look at this game. Kasparov had white pieces and he started with d4. Petrosian played knight to f6, c4, e6, indicating that he would like to play Nimso Indian defense. Bishop to b4 check. Kasparov played knight to f3, and after bishop to b4 check, Kasparov played bishop to d2, and we have Bogo Indian defense. Queen to e7, g3, and Petrosian captured bishop. Another way to continue was knight to c6. Bishop takes on d2 check. Queen takes because Kasparov wants to play knight to c3. Petrosian castled. Bishop to g2 and d5. Another way to continue was e3 and after castling e5. We have d5. Kasparov castled and Petrosian captured pawn on c4. Maybe more precise was rook to d8, keeping tension. d5 was played, Kasparov castled and Petrosian captured pawn on c4. Knight to a3, c5, pawn takes pawn, queen takes pawn and queen is Defending pawn on c4, but not for long. And knight to c6. Of course, it is not possible to defend this pawn. If b5, the knight to d4 and rook is in trouble. For example, knight to d5. Knight from d takes on b5 and so on. So, knight to c6 was played, knight takes on c4, rook is on the same file with queen, so queen to e7, knight from f to e5, that is to take that knight on c6 and damage black spawn structure, so knight takes knight, knight takes knight, and knight to d5. Rook from f to d1, and uh, as you can see, white has better development of the pieces. Knight to b6, queen to a5, and black would like to play perhaps bishop to d7, but then bishop takes on b7. He would uh, perhaps like to play rook to d8. But then we would have this continuation, knight to c4, and after rook takes rook, rook takes rook, and uh, knight to d7, queen to c7, this is just one variation, you can call it assumptions. This is not something that Petrosian would play, but just to show you what is going on. So, black has very difficult position. To avoid any back rank problems, and um, because he hasn't got many moves to choose, g6 was played. Now rook to d3 looks like that Kasparov wanted to double rooks. Knight to d5, e4, and knight was played to b6. Why not to f6? Because of rook to c7 attacking queen. So knight to b6 and now bishop to 
F1. This is very deep move. Rook to E8. Now Rook from D to D1 and looks like the bishop is coming to B5. So black played Rook to F8. And now Kasparov is very patient. He played A3. And black can't do anything very useful. King to G7. B3. This is torture for Petrosian. King to G8. A4. Killing him slowly. If king to G7 again. Let's see what will happen then. If king to G7. Then queen to C3. Threatening A5. Let's say black continues. The usual. Now we have A5. And after knight to d7, queen to c7, knight is under attack and pinned. If rook to d8, we can have bishop to b5 or even a6 winning. Okay. In the game, rook to d8 was played. Kasparov made a move and Petrosian resigned what is the move if you wish you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move that Kasparov played in this position ready queen to c5 and black resigned let's see what would happen if he continued Logically, now queen takes queen, then rook takes rook, queen to f8, rook takes queen check, king takes rook, rook to c7, attacking pawn on f6. Well, now Kasparov maybe would find even better moves than me, but just to show you what is going on. After f6, check and after king to g8 rook takes on f6 and now if knight to d7 knight takes knight bishop takes knight e5 with the idea to play bishop to c4 f4 and to centralize the king this is just one idea if petrosian didn't like to exchange queens he could play for example Queen to e8. Then we would have this continuation. Knight to g4. Threat is knight to f6. Winning queen. And then queen to f8. Check. And after king to g7. Queen to e5. Threatening discover check. If king moves off the diagonal. It's not only move. Then we have checkmate. That's why in this position at move 24, Petrosian resigned. Petrosian was a very strong positional player and was recognized as the hardest player to beat in the history of chess. And you have seen what Kasparov did to him in this game. And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.